My name is Pascal Detviller. I'm the director of the Flinders University Northern Territory uh, Catherine Campus and I was the logistics of this event. So I was tasked by the steering committee to organize senior Aboriginal workers from the health services in Catherine to assist us uh, with uh, the stations today and being facilitators in each of the stations. Um, and I also had to um, be the connecting link in between the different uh, academic people participating to the event uh, to make sure that we were on the same page on providing the same um, uh, interprofessional teaching and learning uh, to each group in each station. Hello, I'm Tim Earnshaw. I'm from the Flinders Medical School in Darwin and we've had the students from the Aboriginal Health Worker Certificate 4 students here from Bachelor Institute. We've had nurses here from Charles Darwin University and we've had the year one medical student, postgraduate medical students here. And what we've been trying to do is to give people the sense of remote context for delivering health and that's why it was important to bring people all the way to Catherine that's not very remote, but we are starting to give the per people sense of what the country is like. We've spent a lot of time on interprofessional relationships and working together. So we've, our, all our learning groups have been in mixed groups. And we've looked at what is the contribution of the Aboriginal health workers, what are the contributions of the nurses and other allied health workers, and what are the doctors doing. And it's really gone through workstations and presentations from allied health workers. We've really been concentrating on interprofessional uh, participation and really looking at the contributions of the health workers, the nursing and allied health professionals and the medical students who are there. And on every exercise they've had something to solve together and look at the way they communicate and the way they've had to combine their skills. So interprofessional uh, training has been a strong theme of this co course. When we're trying to expose people to culture it's very important that we come down to a remote area and really involve the people from the communities. And today's been a climax for us. We've had the Jarwan Ladies Healing Group here and they presented what we needed to know about Jarwan well-being and the way Jarwan people have traditionally healed and how that fits in to a more Western medical model. And then afterwards we took health concepts and we were taught by dot painters and rock painters how to take a health concept and put it on campus. We've been really working on our communication and what are the important concepts and how can we speak to each other about it. I think the three days has been very successful at doing that. I'm Sarah Stratter, I'm the Associate Dean for Flinders University in Northern Territory and I am running the NT Medical Programme. This is uh, the first year that we have students in every year of the medical programme and it uh, is an opportunity for Northern Territorians for the first time to actually train to work in medicine in the Northern Territory. The programme that we're running here today and for tomorrow uh, is all about ensuring that we are developing a medical workforce that uh, is well trained for uh, the NT, so covering the particular issues of indigenous health and remote medicine and interprofessional practice. So it's very exciting to get a mix of nurses, Aboriginal health workers and medical students working at, together, practicing, training, learning uh, and getting a very real sense of what it's like in a remote context. I'm Fred McConnell, I'm a rural doc and I work with the uh, with Flinders uh, medical program. We're here at a, uh, a weekend for 
students of, from a variety of disciplines to get to know each other and to find out something about how they need to work together and what the future in remote uh, locations holds for them. You can never have too much, too much exposure to remote work because it is, it is different, it is unique, and it's it's only um, can only benefit the individuals out on the communities. It's a, it, we have a everyone's got a big job to do to improve the health of the uh, Aboriginal population, but I think it's a slow process. We just have to keep chipping away, and I'm sure we'll get there. Hello, my name's Hugh Grantham. I'm Professor of Paramedics at Flinders. And before that, I've got a past in medicine and in rural general practice. So what I'm getting out of uh, this weekend is the fact that it's multidisciplinary, the fact that we're actually focusing on rural medicine as opposed to hospital medicine, and above all, having a bit of a good time while we're doing it. Hello, my name is Malcolm Johnston Leake. I'm an emergency physician. I'm from the National Critical Care and Trauma Response Centre and I'm the Medical Director of St John Ambulance. I'm here at the Remote Health Experiencing facilitating a workshop where the simulation is a single vehicle troopy rollover with multi-casualties. The aim being that all the participants can learn what to do in this challenging situation. It's extremely gratifying to be working here with the medical students, the nursing students and the Aboriginal health workers. I believe they've got a lot out of it. Hi, I'm Celia, a first year medical student at the, Flin at the Flinders Northern Territory Medical Program. I think it's really good getting to speak to some people that have worked out remotely and rurally and hear their stories and getting to practice some things like checking eyes and probably my favourite part of today has been the road accident where the troopy rolled over and we had to triage about 13 people. That was really interesting because it's something that I've never thought about having to do before and out remotely we're going to have to maybe be faced with those situations. Hello, my name is Raima Baker and I'm a remote consultant. My experience out remote and this weekend specifically is to help our colleagues, medical students, registered nurses and Aboriginal health workers come together for two-way learning. It's about communicating what we know and sharing that so that ultimately we can all work together to make the health of our remote community people better. Hi, my name's Debbie. I'm a CDU Nursing Applied Science student and I'm partaking in this weekend with Flinders University. A great opportunity to learn some skills about remote health and um, interventions for um, emergencies. My name is Ben, I'm a CDU nursing student uh, in my final year, uh, graduating hopefully this year and I have had a very good weekend um, with the remote experience and getting to know some of the junior doctors. Hi, I'm Kylie Stothers, I'm a lecturer with Flinders NT here in the Catherine campus um, and part of the organising committee that brought together the remote health experience for this weekend and it's been really good to welcome everyone here to my traditional lands on the Darwin country. Hi, I'm Patrick Arquette. I'm a senior Aboriginal health worker working at a base men's centre called Strongbella, which is part of Worley Whirl and Jane. And um, I got offered to come and help facilitate the trachoma workshop station. And I, I find that very, very good to do. And it's just really great that I can um, meet um, trainee health workers, uh, medical students, trainee nurses. And I think yeah, it's really great. My name's Sarah Chalmers. I am a doctor from Gove in the Northern Territory. I have been part of the remote health experience uh, this weekend and it's been really wonderful to see the interaction between the medical students, the Aboriginal health worker students and the nursing students. And I hope that this will help uh, make them better practitioners once they graduate. Hi, my name is Cerise King. I'm the Community Liaison Development Officer for the Aboriginal Interpreter Service. I'm based in Catherine. And I, my job is to recruit and train Aboriginal interpreters across the Catherine region. I case manage and mentor up to 80 Aboriginal interpreters. And yeah, 
So today, my experience today being invited to this workshop has been awesome. It's really good for the service. I can advocate for the service and Brett brought along an Aboriginal interpreter with me and we did a few exercises and that was really good and also being able to share with the trainee doctors and Aboriginal health workers on good communication style and we also did a couple of role plays which was experimenting with bad communication happens so that was a really good exercise as well and the students and the Aboriginal health workers were able to ask questions and it was very interactive and just a really good um, opportunity to share what we do our work with the Aboriginal Interpreter Service. Hello, my name is Vivian Turner. I'm a registered Aboriginal health worker that works for Sunrise Health Service. Uh, Sunrise Health Service is an Aboriginal medical service and uh, we actually look after uh, 11 communities in the, in the Sunrise area. Hi, my name is Albert Wadigay. I work at Whirly Whirly Gang in Catherine. I began my health field 16 months ago. I am so ecstatic and proud as an individual, indigenous man, uh, to help my people and on my journey to become a qualified Aboriginal health worker. Yeah, my name is Joseph Dissolva. I'm a first year um, uh, medical student studying in the Northern Territory Medical Program. And uh, just here this weekend on a, on a remote health experience in Catherine, I've just found it's been an absolutely terrific experience. Hi, I'm Michael. I'm Kate. And I'm from Melbourne. I'm and, also from Melbourne. And we've come up this weekend for the rural trip and um, really enjoyed it. My favourite part was probably meeting a lot of people with similar interests in rural health. I reckon the best part was getting um, hands-on experience with dealing with emergency situations um, and also working with the Aboriginal health workers in a team. It's, um, it's not often that you can get a group of people who can experience something um, as organised and as exciting as what we've done this weekend. So if anyone was interested in doing it, I'd definitely recommend it. Um, I think it's a really positive experience and our group's definitely bonded from it and learnt a lot more than we would sitting in, sitting in a classroom. Yeah, agreed. And Pascal has taken carriage for a lot of the activity and organisation and contacts for what we had to do here in Catherine. It was, she said it was Catherine's chance to shine and show we can teach as well as Darwin, and I think today she's proved it. So thank you very much for your work, Pascal.